Today in the 360 Test Kitchen, we are cooking juicy, oven-free holiday turkey. Have you ever cooked turkey on top of your stove? You can with 360, and it will take half the time than cooking in your oven. So you can spend less time in the kitchen and more time with your family. And I promise this will be the juiciest turkey you will ever have. For this recipe, you will use your 360 eight quart stock pot. So let's get started. First, we're gonna make some herb butter. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. You'll just mix one stick of softened unsalted butter with some freshly chopped herbs. For this recipe, we're using two teaspoons of parsley, one teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of sage, and half a teaspoon of rosemary. These herbs will flavor the turkey nicely, but you can use any herbs you want as long as they're finely chopped. Reserve half of the butter to prepare the turkey. Place the other half of the butter in a center of a piece of plastic wrap. Roll the plastic wrap over the butter and twist both ends tightly to form a cylinder, similar to the way some candies are wrapped. Place the rolled butter in the freezer for about 30 minutes to set. We'll use this butter later for the gravy. Now let's get to the turkey. This turkey has already been washed and the giblets removed, so we're just gonna pat it dry before we start. Without tearing, use your hands to just separate the skin from both sides of the breast, like this. Rub the herb butter under the skin to coat the meat. You can use a paper towel to keep your hands clean if you'd like. Now liberally salt and pepper all sides of the turkey, including the cavity. Stuff the cavity with a few sprigs each of parsley, thyme, sage, and rosemary. This gives it a nice taste. Fold the wings underneath the neck. And now secure the legs with butcher's twine. For this, just tie a knot on one leg and then wrap the twine around the other leg and tie another knot like this. Perfect. Now in your 368 quart stock pot, stir together one cup of chopped onion, half a cup of chopped celery, and half a cup of chopped carrots. Add half a cup of water and stir just a little bit. Now we're gonna put the turkey right on top. Make sure you position it so the legs aren't sticking up too high, that way the lid will fit. Now cover and turn to medium heat. In about 15 minutes, you will see vapors begin to escape from under the lid. Once you see this, spin the lid to engage the vapor seal and then reduce the heat to low. Vapor cooking is the secret to 360 cookware that creates a miniature oven on top of your stove. This cooks the turkey faster and maintains the natural moisture, keeping your turkey nice and juicy. Uncover the pot after about 45 minutes. Using a silicone or pastry brush, baste the turkey with the browning and seasoning sauce. This will help flavor the skin and achieve a nice golden brown color. This is a store-bought sauce you can find at your supermarket. Now replace the lid and continue cooking. You will want to baste the turkey every 20 minutes or so until it's done. The nice thing about cooking your turkey in 360 cookware is that it will take less time to cook, so it will free up your oven for all those side dishes. After an hour and 15 minutes of cooking, check the temperature of the turkey by inserting a thermometer into the thigh without touching the bone. Any juices should be clear. The temperature should read 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If it hasn't reached this temperature, baste again and replace the cover. Cook another few minutes. When the turkey reaches the desired temperature, remove the pot from the heat and allow it to rest covered for 10 to 15 minutes. Transfer the turkey to a serving platter. Use a bit of caution because the juices in the cavity of the bird will be hot. I promise this will be the juiciest turkey you have ever had. Now I'm going to strain the broth and reserve it to make delicious gravy made in the same pot. Notice how nicely this pours. 
The design of 360 cookware allows you to easily pour liquids out of your pot. So now let's make some gravy. We'll start by making a roux in the same stock pot. Place the empty pot over medium low heat. Melt four tablespoons of the herb butter we made earlier. Now add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Whisk together and cook the roux for about three to four minutes. Doing this will cook out that flour taste. When the mixture is bubbly and pale, whisk in the broth reserved from the turkey. Bring this mixture to a boil. This looks good, but if you need to adjust the consistency of the gravy, you can add additional stock, water, or even a bit of white wine if you like. If you like giblets in your gravy, this would be the time to add them. Taste your gravy to make sure it's how you want it, and if needed, season with salt and pepper, but this is perfect. I'm going to transfer this to a gravy boat. Again, look how nicely this pours right out of the pot. This gravy will be perfect for the rosemary mashed potatoes. Be sure to check out that video and all of our complete recipes online at 360cookware.com.